objective mineralogy, multiple choice questions with answers. These are useful for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GATE, GSI and other exams. Welcome to set 13. Coming to the first question. Which of the following is not a variety of silica? The choices given are A. Jasper, B. Coisite, C. Stichovite, D. Flinkite. So obviously, D. Flinkite is not a variety of silica because Jasper, Coisite and Stichovite all are the varieties of silica. Whereas a Flinkite, it is a manganese mineral. So it has a composition of MN3, ASO4, OH4 consisting of a greenish uh, brown basic manganese arsenate in feathery forms and it has a specific gravity of 3.87. So, D flinkite is the correct option. Next question. Ca calcium montmorillonite is formed by the chemical weathering of A. Calcite, B. Argite, C. Orthoclase, D. Forstrite. Calcium montmorillonite is formed by the chemical weathering of uh, Argite. So, cal calcium montmorillonite it can be formed by or it can be formed through the chemical weathering of augite as augite is a common rock forming mineral that uh, readily uh, breaks down into clay minerals like uh, montmorillonite particularly when calcium ions are present during the weathering process which leads to the formation of calcium montmorillonite. So, B is the correct option. Next question, the dominant constituent of uh, ultramafic rocks in the earth's mantle is A. Orthoclase, B. Olivine, C. Plagioclase and D. Biotite. So, the dominant constitu constituent of ultramafic rocks in the earth's mantle is olivine. So, olivine it makes up around uh, 40 percent of more of the total volume of the four most uh, abundant mineral families in peridotite and it is a coarse grained ultramafic rock. So, the dominant constituent of ultramafic rocks in the earth's mantle is olivine. B is the correct option. Next question. Dichroism is the property of the choices given are A. Two fold variation in color, B. Three fold variation in color, C. Four fold variation in color, D. Five fold variation in color. Dichroism it is the property of uh, two fold variation in color. So, it is the property of uh, some crystals and solutions to absorb one of uh, two plane polarized components of transmitted light. So, it, this dichroism it is a phenomenon that occurs when light absorption changes depending upon the direction of the polarization. So, dichroism is the property of two-fold variation in color. A is the correct option. Next, next question. Choose the dichroic mineral. A. Biotite. B. Tourmaline. C. Hornblende. D. Garnet. The correct option is B. Tourmaline. Tourmaline is strongly dichroic. Uh, this is a, a characteristic mineral in uh, granite pegmatites and it is uh, an accessory mineral in granite, granodiorite and related felsic rocks. Next question. Optical instruments are made of A. Soft glass, B. Hard glass, C. Pyrex glass, D. Flint glass. Optical instruments are made up of uh, flint glass, D is the correct option. So, flint glass is used to make optical instruments like lenses, prisms and other uh, imaging devices. Flint glass it is a uh, lead containing glass with a high refractive index and it is made from quartz, a hard crystalline mineral that is composite of silica. Next question. A biaxial mineral is positive if A x is acute bisetrix, B z is acute bisetrix, C y is acute bisetrix and D z is obtuse bisetrix. So, a biaxial mineral is positive if uh, z is acute bisetrix. A biaxial mineral is positive because it is meaning the acute angle between the optic axis is bisected by z refractive index direction. So, so B is the correct option. Next question. The mineral with the least dispersion is A quartz, B diamond, C calcite, D fluoride. So, the mineral with the least dispersion is known as a diamond. So, it has a least dispersion of about 0 0.044. So, this mineral diamond uh, has the least dispersion when compared to the quartz, calcite and fluoride. Next question. The mineral tourmaline shows the absorption A parallel to analyzer, B parallel to polarizer. C perpendicular to analyzer and D perpendicular to polarizer. So, the correct option is the, mir the mineral tourmaline it shows uh, the absorption parallel to the analyzer. The mineral tourmaline it shows absorption parallel to the vibration directions of the extraordinary and ordinary waves. So, this is because uh, tourmaline is a trigonal crystal and which means it has a two specific absorption colors or dichroism. So, A is the correct option. Next question. Which of the following is not a mineral of copper? The choices are A. Bornite, B. Branite, C. Covellite, 
the malachite the correct option is uh, b bronite because uh, all like uh, a b c like bornite covellite malachite or or uh, they are the ore minerals of copper whereas a bronite it is a manganese mineral next question amorphous substances are considered as a isotropic b anisotropic c biaxial d both a and b amorphous substances are considered as isotropic Amorphous substances are isotropic because they have an uh, irregular arrangement of atoms and no long uh, range order. So, this means that their physical properties like refractive index and conductivity are the same in all directions. So, amorphous substances are considered as uh, isotropic. A is the correct option. Next question. Anthophyllite is distinguished from trimolite, actinolite and cummingtonite by A. Birefringence, B. Optic axial angle, C. Inclined extinction and D. Parallel extinction. Anthophyllite is distinguished from trimolite and actinolite and cummingtonite by parallel or straight extension. D is the correct option. Next question. Basal section of a uniaxial mineral shows the options given are A. Pleochroism, B. Dichroism, C. Isotropism, D. Asterism. So, basal section of a uniaxial mineral it shows uh, uh, isotropic. So, that is known as a C isotropism. So, basal sections of uniaxial minerals uh, they appear isotropic because light travels at the same speed along the optic axis and the C axis is the same in all classes. Next question. The hardest mineral, hardest oxide mineral in the most scale of hardness is A corundum, B topaz, C quartz and D diamond. So, the hardest oxide mineral is uh, obviously corundum that is chemical composition of Al2O3. Next question. Vertical section of an uniaxial mineral shows A pleochroism, B dichroism, C isotropism, D equal. Vertical section of uh, uniaxial mineral uh, this shows uh, dichroism. So, dichroism is a property of uniaxial crystals that causes them to exhibit two different colors when viewed from different directions. So, this is due to the two vibration directions in uniaxial minerals x and z. Next question. Refractive index is highest for a glass, b rock salt, c water, d diamond. So, refractive index is uh, high, high or highest for diamond. Diamond has highest refractive index than many other materials including glass, water and air. So, diamond it has a refractive index of, of around 2.42 whereas, a glass it has a refractive index of about 1.5 and uh, water the refractive index of water is 1.33 whereas, the air it has 1.0003. So, the refractive index is higher for diamond. D is the correct option. Next question. In the gypsum plate, the cleavage present in the gypsum is A. Orthopinacoidal, B. Uh, pinacoidal, C. Clinopinacoidal and D. Basal pinacoidal. In the gypsum uh, plate, the cleavage present in the gypsum is known as a clinopinacoidal so, because gypsum has perfect cleavage in one direction and has a less distinct cleavage in two others. So, it has a perfect cleavage which is parallel to the clinopinacoid, it is represented by 0, 1, 0 and less perfect cleavage which is parallel to the orthopinacoid that is 1, 0, 0. So, overall the gypsum it has a cleavage uh, uh, present is known as a clinopinacoidal, it has perfect cleavage in 0, 1, 0 direction. Next question. The phenomenon of double refraction was first of all noticed by A. Herbert Smith, B. Dude Chalens and C. Erasmus Berthol and D. Becke. The phenomenon of double refraction it was first of all noticed by Erasmus uh, Bertholinus. The light passing through the calcite crystal is uh, split into two rays. So, this process it was first reported by Erasmus Bertholinus in, uh, uh, in 1669 uh, and it is called as a double refraction. So, C Erasmus Bartholinus is the correct option. Next question. Sign of elongation of quartz is A positive, B negative, C positive and negative and D it cannot be determined. Sign of elongation of a quartz is uh, positive because uh, the sign of elongation for quartz is positive that is meaning that it is length slow and this means that the slow component of quartz vibrates in the direction of the crystal's longest length. So, that is why sign of elongation of quartz is positive. Next question. An acute bisectrix is one which has been cut A parallel to acute bisectrix, B normal to acute bisectrix, C normal to obtuse bisectrix and D inclined to acute bisectrix. An acute uh, an acute bisectrix is one which has been cut normal to acute bisectrix. So, B x a figure is nothing but the acute bisectrix a line uh, that bisects the 
acute angle between the two optic axes. So B is the correct option. Hope you have followed uh, the important uh, questions in mineralogy and uh, see you for the content of mineralogy for other uh, related uh, topics in geology. Hope you can explore geosciences and hope you can subscribe and you can share to other uh, people. Thank you.